Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are going to make a bridge doubler. In classic circuits, you should know. This is a really simple circuit that will double your AC uh, input voltage using a full bridge rectifier. <laughs> Easy circuit to do. But for a twist today, we're going to take it all the way through and make it into a PCB with PCB way. Do, 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 do. So let's start by drawing our schematic. First of all, we need a full bridge rectifier, which uses four diodes, right? Right. Hopefully, I drew those all in the right direction, and I did. So, here are our AC inputs. Just like that. AC in. And then, we're going to take our two outputs. This is your negative, this is your positive DC. What is with you, little bug? The negative comes down. It goes like that. And that will be our negative DC out. And then our positive DC out. Can come from here. But here's where we're going to get a little bit funky. Right here, we're going to put in a couple of electrolytics. Like that. Okay. And then, we're going to come from this point over to here. And we will have this also as a positive output and this will be 2x in transferred to dc are you with me so far good let's go draw up the schematic on the computer okay i'm using dip trace again here and uh we're just going to grab the components we need which are two capacitors and four diodes. Always best to have your components on hand when you're starting out. <clears throat> there we go. Take four of these. One two, three, four. Now this is going to be a really great first project for you when you are wanting to do a PCB because it's, you know, it only uses six components. It's a real easy schematic to draw. So hopefully, you know, it'll work out good for you. <laughs> I can't think of a better way to put it. So we'll just say it like that, right? All right, we'll move those over there. And we'll get these guys going up here like so. All right, so let's connect together a couple of things here. Like that. Like that. Like that. And like that. So our AC inputs will be here. Our DC outputs will be there. Pretty simple, right? And we'll put in our let's use some test points here for these, it'll work out fine for our connections.
like that. And then we will connect up here. Like so. Like so. Like so. And like so. And what we're going to do now is we're going to change our res depth on these. And our value we'll put here. This is minus DC. And our marking will be the value. And this one will be AC. Doesn't matter. Positive. And this one we'll call AC negative. And this will be our positive DC. Good, good, good. So all of that is set there. And, and we just need to uh, Now we got to put a couple more test points in, don't we? Those are our outputs. So those are going to come over here. Go like this. One. Two. Three. And we'll call this. Plus, oops, forgot to name it. Out plus, this one will be out minus. And this one we'll just call plus. Alright, so far so good. Alright, now we just gotta whip these guys into shape here. Have to move things around here a little bit to get everything just about where I want it. That's kind of the fun, though, drawing schematics, right? Putting everything just where you want it. And I, I think it is. Of course, I could be crazy. What the hell do I know? Okay, so this one goes up here. And we come to here. This one comes down here. I think I'm on the right line. Goes to there. Oh, you know what? Slight mistake here. Did not need these. What I could do instead is just go like that. My bad. Okay, so. Did we lose a capacitor somewhere? Wow. I guess we did. What do I know? Okay. So we go like that. Here to there. 
here to thar, here to thar, and here to thar. Hmm. Don't like that one. Let's try this again. Yes, that's better. We'll just stick that there like that. Bring that in there like that. Okay. Now we just need to put some stuff on here. We'll go with I don't know. Hundred microfarad. Do the same. Hundred microfarad. Do 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 that should uh, just about do it. Let's save this. And this is called Bridge Doubler. Like that. And then I'm going to go in here and just mark up my nets so I know what I'm talking about. Okay, I've marked up my nets. You can see here that one's called DC Plus, DC Minus. AC plus AC minus and we did electrical rules check there are no problems so we can now take this over and make it into our PCB so we just hit that button and up comes the PCB Okay, so there's everything we got. We want to mark all these with their values so that we know what the heck we're talking to. Now, we've got all of this together. we can draw our board outline and this one yeah, place board outline be a pretty small one man it just doesn't want to there we go flat out there for me okay whoops hey stop that there we go now we will move our components into place Something like this. I'm trying to keep You know, everything as close as we can here. Put our ACs there like so. And our diodes. Again, we want to keep them
keep our lines as straight as we possibly can. Trying to avoid crossing as many of the air wires as we have to. Zoom in here. that it looks better like that so not too bad these really aren't lining up as neat as I would like with this but hey So far, so good. Alright. Let's route it. Auto router is active. And she's a routed. God, I love the auto router. Looks like we've got one, two, three traces on the bottom everything else is on the top not bad all right let's go to the bottom layer what we're going to do is uh lay in some copper here Activity will connect it to DC negative. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So I got to bring that up a little bit. That'll work. Top layer. Good. Do -do. Let's save it. Again, this is the bridge doubler. Check our design rules, no errors found. So far, so good. All right, let's go back to our bottom layer. Bottom layer is good. We'll add our picture. This goes on bottom silk. And I just have to remember where I put it. Right? There we go. Happy bear. Good. Now we go top. Top silk. And we can add some text. Bridge doubler V1 by Learn Electronics. So far, so good. Let's take a look at the uh, 3D rendering of it. There we 
go. I know our diodes don't look exactly right, but hey. Also, our board should be green. Our solder mask. What color solder mask do we want today? Uh, blue, right? Our silk screen can be white. Alright, let's redraw it, see what we get now. There. I'm pretty, pretty satisfied with that. Let's, uh, get out of here and make some Gerbers. Okay, let's, uh, save it. Do, do, do. Export Gerbers. We want all of these. We shall export them all. Desktop. This goes to the rich dubber here, and we need to make a new folder here. Hello. Call Gerbers. We'll put them in there and say go. Okay. Then file, export our numeric control drills. Export all three drill gerbers. Go. And then we just need to order it, right? Okay. So all we have to do now is order this, and we're going to be ordering it. It's from PCB Way. Because they do great work and they are fast. So we have one panel, single piece. Our size is uh, 66 millimeters by 20.3 millimeters. We'll get five of them. It's a two layer board. FR4 is fine. Thickness standard 1.6. Whole side 0.3. Blue. White. So with lead is fine. Tented vias, we're only doing any vias, so we're fine there. All should be good. Calculate that. Look at that price there. 17 bucks for five boards, and you'll get it in less than a week. That's why I like PCB Way. So it is November the 6th and we've submitted these and they're underway and November 6th so let's look at the calendar I would say we have these back Monday or Tuesday see you then So, five days later, and here it is. Today is actually Veterans Day, November the 11th. I want to say thank you to all my brother and sister veterans who put on the uniform of their country to stand in the way of danger and protect everything they love. I salute you. So, here are our boards. And strangely, they're not vacuum packed this time. They're usually vacuum packed. Pretty cool. Let's put it together and uh, see what we get. Hello, happy bear. All right, I whipped together a couple boards here. I don't have any 100 microfarad capacitors, so 
The first boards I did are... Come on. 22 microfarad. And the second ones are 470 microfarad. And I just want to show you that the capacitance value really doesn't make that much of a difference. So, I've got our AC input hooked up here to the oscilloscope probe. And if we can come in here and take a look. You can see our mean, the second one down there is 3.28 volts with a frequency of about 60 hertz. And we'll bring in the, the old fluky fluke meter here. So you can see better. And untangle my leads. Two point eight two. Yeah. Close enough. So that is our three volts in. Now we'll hook it up to one of our bridge doubler boards, which as you can see. Come on, focus. There we go. I've got all nice and soldered up there. There's our input going on the AC side. And we'll hook up our outputs. Now we're going to be having a DC wave here, so. Take a look on the screen. That is actually showing us 9.6 volts, which is a little more than double. Bring in the meter here. We'll put it on DC. Ah. Prop it up on something here. There we go. And we'll take a reading on that. 9.7. So that's not too shabby. Now let's just swap out the other one. Just so you can see that the capacitance really doesn't matter. Now people are always going to ask me how much current can it handle? Well, it can handle as much current as the lowest rated component. Oh, well, that one's a little bit lower. But you know why? It's not the capacitors. It is, in fact, the diodes. These are Schottky diodes. That gave us the higher voltage. These are plain silicon junction diodes. Here's the difference. This has about a 0.2 voltage drop compared to a 0.6 voltage drop. But yeah, that's a bridge doubler. That's a simple, common circuit that you should know. Hope you guys like this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to you. Big thanks to PCBWay. Big thanks to all the veterans out there. That's it. I'm out. Peace.